SoFi, the all-in-one finance savior, or is it? Ever feel like your finances are scattered across a dozen different apps? Student loans here, checking account there, robo-advisor over on the next island? Don't worry, you're not alone. That's where SoFi swoops in, promising to be your one-stop financial shop. SoFi boasts everything from checking and savings accounts to student loan refinancing and investing, all under one roof. Sounds pretty slick, right? But before you jump ship and consolidate everything into SoFi's shiny new app, let's pump the brakes for a second. There's more to the story than meets the eye. The allure of SoFi. First, let's acknowledge the good stuff. SoFi is undeniably convenient. Imagine managing your checking account, investing for your future, and even refinancing those pesky student loans, all within the same app. They offer commission-free stock and ETF trading, competitive interest rates on savings accounts, if you meet certain requirements, and a user-friendly interface. For young professionals, and millennials especially, SoFi's appeal is clear. It cuts through the clutter and offers a streamlined financial experience. They even have features like vaults to help you save towards specific goals. It's like having your own personal financial cheerleader in your pocket. So, what's the catch? Alright, alright, so SoFi isn't some kind of financial utopia. Here's where we gotta talk about the downsides. The first, and probably biggest, is the lack of physical branches. SoFi is an entirely online operation. That might be great for the tech-savvy crowd, but what about those who prefer face-to-face -face interaction or need help with complex financial matters? Speaking of complex matters, SoFi's customer support, while generally praised for being responsive, might not be equipped to handle every situation. For intricate financial issues, you might find yourself longing for the expertise of a dedicated banker you can sit down with. Not quite there yet on savings. Another thing to consider is SoFi's savings account. Sure, the potential interest rates are attractive, but there's a catch. To snag those top rates, you typically need to set up direct deposit. This might not be feasible for everyone, especially freelancers or those with irregular income streams. On top of that, SoFi requires you to open both a checking and savings account. This might be a turnoff for those who prefer to keep their checking separate or already have a high-yield savings account elsewhere. Investing on SoFi, beginner-friendly, but limited. SoFi charges no commission for stock and ETF trades, which is fantastic for beginners. However, their investment platform might feel a bit bare-bones for seasoned investors. They lack some of the advanced features and research tools you might find on a more established brokerage platform. Is SoFi right for you? So, the big question, is SoFi the financial superhero you've been waiting for? It depends. If you're a young professional comfortable managing your finances online and prioritize convenience, SoFi could be a great fit. The commission-free investing and competitive interest rates, with stipulations, are attractive. But if you crave the security of a physical branch, need more robust investment options, or have a complex financial situation, SoFi might not be the complete solution. Ultimately, SoFi is a promising player in the fintech world, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Carefully weigh the pros and cons, the convenience factor versus the limitations, before deciding if SoFi is your financial knight in shining armor. Remember, it's always wise to shop around and compare before making any major financial decisions. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.